the always entertaining Stephen Colbert, host of the Colbert Report, announced, I shall seek the office of the President of the United States in his always over-the-top fashion with red, white, and blue balloons falling all around him. Is Colbert seriously going to run for president, or is he just doing what Colbert does best, mocking the American political process by zealously imitating the conservative characters that make politics so ridiculous? Personally, I think the two aren't mutually exclusive. He can jump into the presidential race and at the same time highlight how absurd the entire process is. I mean, really, haven't we seen even more laughable candidates before? After all, we did elect the biggest clown of all twice. It turns out that Obama has the presidential pedigree after all. Recent reports say that he is a distant cousin of both Dick Cheney and George Bush. Lynn Cheney said, I have to admit to a certain bias here, Dick and Obama are eighth cousins. Eighth cousins. Obama's camp made light of the family ties, saying every family has a black sheep. So what is going on with Hillary's campaign last week? Let's take a look. On the 19th, the Clinton campaign launched a new television ad in Iowa and New Hampshire, underscoring Hillary's commitment to strengthen the middle class and chart a new course in Iraq on health care and on the economy. The president is once again asking Congress and the American people to foot the bill for his failed leadership, she said. Way to grab him by the balls, Hillary. Former Democratic presidential candidate Howard Dean didn't make it to the White House in 2004 but his story could make it to the big screen. Hollywood power players Leonardo DiCaprio and George Clooney are in discussions to join forces for a movie loosely based on the former governor's meteoric rise and fall in 2004. Remember his uncomfortable school on national television that left everyone watching embarrassed for him? Well, who knows if it was a squill heard round the world, but he ultimately failed to win a single caucus or primary outside of his home state of Vermont.